Hart's Dyke. Formerly known as Crawford's Dyke. Is a suburb of the town in Greenock, Scotland. I'm actually a big fan of Kurt Steik. I enjoy Scotland. I know I know about Scotland. Of the Scots. <laughs> I know of Scotland. No, I did a project on them. On Scotland. On them. Back in eighth grade, I know a lot of things about Scotland. I don't Are know. You about the um. The country. The thing where we had to do that thing. Yeah. I think eighth I did, like, grade. Japan and New Zealand. I did Sweden and Scotland. Because, first off, Japan is cool. And second off, New Zealand is cool. Because that's where they filmed Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, yeah. And The Hobbit, I think. My, I, I was told a story today about how in um, someone's class, they had their teacher gave them the choice of what movie to watch. Either... Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter, and they chose Harry Potter. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> That's what I said. I was what like, What a bad decision. Why? Anything what? It's not that bad, but it doesn't stack It's up not that bad, but Lord of the Rings is better. Oh, I would have to shoot myself. <laughs> Which one was it? Which Harry Potter was it? I'm guessing they would go from the, from the first one, you know. The first one is the worst Harry Potter movie. <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense, you know. It's not like you're gonna go into a, you know, number five. Yeah, but if you're watching Star Wars, you shouldn't start with... <laughs> number one. You should not go to number one. If you're starting Star Wars. Well, unless you're talking about the number one is in the one that came out. No, you know, I'm talking about Star Wars Episode One. So the one that came out fourth. Yes. The one that's not episode one. Except for that one scene. You know the one I'm speaking of. Um, no. I think it's in, uh... Hold on. What scene are you referring to? I'm gonna play the audio. Gosh, I have to keep this going, Zach. Alright, we're... Just <laughs> press random again. I'm random article. 7G. 7G can oh, refer to 7G Tronic. It did not go well for the video. <laughs> uh oh, oh. Okay, I know that one. Imperial Cross. Oh, we are headed downhill fast. With the it's the Imperial Cross, the Holy Lance, and the oh. Reliquary of the True Cross. Dead. Uh, stop! Stop They're it! Dead. Stop it! Up. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> no! Stop! Stop! Funny. No! It's with the women. It's the children too. And the children too. Gosh! They're like animals. They're like animals. <laughs> and I slide them like animals. <laughs> I hate them. Big Hampton Television. I hate them. This is the Imperial March. Bing Hampton Television. Oh, we can't. Dang it, Zach. Why? What? <laughs> I'll talk to you about it later. Bing Hampton Television. Are you going to say we can't use it because of copyright strikes? Yes. No one's going to come after us <laughs> because we played the audio of Star Wars. The Imperial March was in there for like three seconds. <laughs> We were talking over it, too. Yeah, then you pointed it out as well. What, the copyright strikes? No, you point out the song. It's like, oh, hey, look. That's a thing people could sue about. No, they're not going to sue us. We were talking over it. What, press random again? And if it's if there's anything about Star Wars, then uh, we'll be sued. Bing Hampton Television, though. But there won't be. But Bing Hampton Television. Bing Hampton Television. Wow. Michael Zagreta cares about Binghampton Television. He probably doesn't. He probably left the company years ago. He was the president. He is the president. Was. I think it's was. <laughs> they went under years ago. Wait, what happened? They didn't know. Assassinated. Finally, it was renamed Big Binghampton. Uh, began uh, moving to Luke. Luke it's okay. Below the bookstore on campus. <laughs> What? So they were found in um, 1976 as Television Workshop. It's a student-run television station in um, Binghampton University. And <laughs> so they are in the early 2000s. The studio moved to a new location, which was below the bookstore on campus. Below the bookstore. Below the bookstore. How did he get there? 
it's a closed circuit television station that's not fall under the jurisdiction of Federal Communications Commission. BTV is only available to students okay. on being Hampton campus on channel six. For others off campus, BTV provides a live stream of the channel on their website. Oh my God! You Pull it up. up right now. Pull it up right now. Oh, wait, what's their website? Binghampton Television. I imagine it's Binghampton TV. Binghampton Television dot com. There's no way they're filming. It's probably what under. Oh, here I have the website. Binghampton. Hold on, I got this. Binghampton Television. TV. Or t television. Binghampton. Binghampton Television. Um, Binghampton. EU. Around the Campus Cable. I can see the Campus Cable. Can I find the website? Um, can you send it to me? I could. No, you have to pull my Skype then. And that's... Yeah. I can, can I open pull... this in a new tab. Is it Binghampton? I'm opening in a new tab. Oh! Pizza with Vaughn? Vaughn? BTV News. Where's the Game live? time? Where's the live? Yeah, sport stuff. Okay. Late show tonight. Look, look it's a basketball from like Jimmy Fallon show. <laughs> oh, what's happening here? Uh, BTV. Oh, I don't think anyone saw that. Oh, wait, no, no, this this fits. Right, yeah, yeah, okay. Everyone saw that. Man, dude, these guys. Hey, look for the live stream. Um, office hours. Watch live. Oh my god, please be stream. All advertisements are provided by Ustream. Oh, we gotta cut this out then. No, we don't. They're off air, I think. God damn it. That's what it says right there is off air, so. Shit. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Binghampton! Here, I'll snap. Shit. It's off air. <laughs> Dang it. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm, I'm keeping the tab. Alright. In case they come on air. <laughs> In case they come on air. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, mad, ha, sir. Mark Ediva is a Filipino mixed martial artist and wushu champion Dude. who competes in the featherweight division. Ediva is currently signed with the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He's a wushu champion. He's a wushu. Oh, look, his record. All right, let's see. He's got uh, six wins and two losses, and he he won six straight. Like since the start of his career, he won all of them. But then he's on a losing streak now. Oh, he's lost his last sucks. two fights. Oh, that really sucks. It does. When was the last fight? Um, May sixteenth this year. These fights are really spaced out. He had a fight. His first fight was April 15th, 2006. His second fight was March 10th, 2007. His third fight was March 14th, 2009. His, uh, oh wait, no, that's his third fight. His fourth fight, June 20th, 2009. Then his fifth fight is January 20, was January 27th, 2011. He didn't get his sixth fight until March 1st, 2014. March. March 1st, 2014. I hope you went to the next fight, though. Yeah. Wait, what's his name? I'll see if he fights anytime soon. Mark Adiva. We saw him on the Oh, have we? Are you sure about that? I mean, <laughs> some of the things that we've seen. Blackburn Rural District. Blackburn was a rural district in Lancashire. Lancashire. It was named after, but did not include Black Blackburn, which was an independent country borough. It surrounded Blackburn and North. Uh, uh hmm. right. Flag. Fallag. Fallag. What is this? It's a town, land. Town? In Ireland, it's a town in Ireland. What's the population? It's not telling me the population. I bet you it's more than 109, though. <laughs> I would hope. 
1997 CFU Club Championship. What? It's a Caribbean Football Union Club Championship. It was an international club football competition held in the Caribbean to determine the region's qualifiers to the CONCAF Championships Cup. The winners united Petrochin advanced to the CONCACAF Champions oh, Cup 1997. Oh, snap. Wait, let's see. So, um, United Petrochin, they, 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 I think they won. Oh, oh, wait, because Group 2, Seba United beat them, and then qualifying playoffs was Seba United, United Petrochin, and United Petrochin won! Two to one. We're never gonna find a final. It's never gonna happen. I don't see why you ever thought it would. Just do a fast like, do like a three like one. Click, click, click. Talk Movo, two, Shiz Shamzan. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> How is there three things that Shamzan could be referring? To? Shamzani Chabag, Shamzani Hiat Hiet. Shamzani Jehadia. I'm sorry if I butchered these Persian names. No one cares. No one's watching. Onchidella carpentary. It's a species of air breathing sea slugs. Right, next. Ostrada Cantania Syracusa. It's a Syracuse motorway. It's a. It's a racetrack. Is it a racetrack? No, no, it's a highway. It's in the middle of Italy. It's a highway yeah, once in Sicily. Oh, uh, Syri Syracuse. My bad. Alright, random article. Glasgow Scott stunned by election 1950. That's the name of this of this page. Glasgow Scott stunned by election. No, one even lives in Glasgow. Tico Rico? It's a 1977 jazz funk album recorded by saxophonist Hank Crawford. Write this down, Tico Rico. I can probably play it right now. Tico Rico is one of the songs. Teach Me Tonight, Lady Soul, Lullaby of Love, I've Just Seen a Face. Hank, you think Hank Crawford's going to come after us? Wait, Lennon and McCartney? Is that the Beatles? No. John Lennon and John McCartney? Lennon and Paul McCartney. Yeah. Oh, is this Tico Rico? Yeah. This is by David Matthews. I feel like we're gonna get. Dude, that feels as if I've heard this before. Yeah, skip to the middle so he doesn't. Ooh. Oh, snap. Dude. Oh, this is the full album. I just skipped to the middle of the album. I'm feeling this album, dude. It's this a song, it. Lullaby of Love. Lullaby Love. This one looks like the best of those, Zach. If you want to go to the last five minutes, Funky Rooster. <laughs> Funky Rooster. Lady Soul. Ooh. Yeah. Lullaby Love. Or is this Lady Soul? That's Lullaby Love. Uh, I just seen the face. Fun. We have Tico Rico. I'm telling you, Funky Rooster. Teach me tonight. Uh, Teach Me Tonight, yep. Then Lady Soul, right? No, no, then it's Lullaby of Love. Oh, Lullaby of Love, alright. And then... I've Just Seen a Face. I've Just Seen a Face. Just in general, if you saw a face. Right. Lament. Lament. This doesn't sound like a lament. And then, is it Lady Soul? Then it's Lady Soul. And then there should be Funky Rooster as the last one. It's just a really long thing called Lady Soul the entire time. There's no Funky Rooster? No. I'm Look not. up Funky Rooster then. Funky ah, Rooster. The Hank Crawford? Yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm really feeling the rooster in this. 
We're gonna get copyright <laughs> <friends>. <laughs> I'm going to the next one. You can stop that now.